So she's four and then seven is two. So almost two. Yeah. So what about us? Yes. <laughs> at university, mm -hmm. um, yes, we, I'm a student of uh, political science, and this is my colleague, David, yes, and he is, my name is Karim, first of all, I yeah, don't talk my name, so, um, yeah, we live here, now we have this association, uh, it's not for, we are for those voiceless, but so we can uh, give this uh, acronym of voiceless, that means people are migrants here, and uh, they maybe uh, they don't know their own rights. So who of us does who have access to the instrument of uh, right or going as uh, university knowing more things? So we are uh, trying to give more voice of those people that side of society is more or less as invisible. This what is our goal to to make empowerment of people, to give them the necessary instruments to find themselves in the society. That is for our goals. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So, so as, you, as you said, our main goals are in gathering being a collective voice for those who are in need of the, the may feel in a vulnerable situation or condition, both uh, mainly for us the most important uh, and uh, the most important uh, sector in which we should act is on uh, socioeconomic uh, exclusion, which <coughs> is uh, the most uh, uh, critical and uh, influential in uh, any kind of human being life. <laughs> so, uh, but we also work on the, the cultural aspect of um, uh, discrimination and uh, exclusion. Um, so we, we, should, we would like to put together this kind of uh, activities inside the, the association and it, it's what we are doing uh, uh, right now. Because we, we are just from, we are young, speaking, so uh, we, uh, when was it? We, 
something like movement as well as the 6th of June wow. yes. after the demonstration all around Europe about the Black Lives Matter and so we have called the guys to understand and stand up for themselves so how we say that we are mm, not just what I'm saying to give them the necessary instrument to go on in their life but um, to make them to know what is, is going wrong and to make it better together, culturally, economically, and socially. Sorry. Yes. Both formation and at the same time finding um, viable solutions, practical solutions to um, try to break down the obstacle of uh, socioeconomic exclusion altogether. And also we uh, study international relations, uh, so based on David's life experience, based on our real experience, yeah. and what we study together. It's Actually, you only study together. Uh, the two of us. Okay. Uh, yes. uh, engineer? Yes. Yeah. Chimica. Uh, ch 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 engineer. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 I'm from Kenya and uh, I've joined up with the, with the guys but just to tell you a bit about myself, um, I started in fashion uh, so my background is in fashion which I practiced or did for about uh, five, seven years, seven years or so. Then I probably are very similar to you, but not at 40, a lot earlier. I jumped to it and decided um, to join the world of women empowerment. Uh, so I've been working in women empowerment projects uh, in, in Kenya. I started uh, in 2010. In 2010, when I was working with an organization for Somali refugees, Somali women refugees uh, for housing and uh, rehabilitation and protection and uh, sustainable development and then I moved to Mauritius in 2012, 13 uh, and I was working with an, organiza um, an organization called Indian, uh, Indian Ocean Commission on a women empowerment project and sustainable development in uh, environmental conservation. Um, so that was a regional project uh, in the Indian Ocean Islands uh, that I initiated and uh, carried forward for seven years that, and also wrote a booklet on basic uh, techniques and, and good practices in waste disposal and uh, upcycling techniques. Um, but yes, I can give you the link, it's downloadable for free. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've worked uh, in women empowerment for quite a while and I just recently moved here and I was looking to see how I can translate my uh, skills and everything that I've learned from my past experiences and be able to apply it here uh, either with women or with the youth in uh, in providing sustainable and economically viable work opportunities and uh, skills training and so I've also, yeah, I've collaborated with them and we're trying to see if we can create different projects to be able to to support people in need. Yeah. 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 In a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. Just a Sorry? Just a side step. Yeah. I was on the last time I was in the Oh, really? Oh, okay. And I was impressed by the environmental field. 
Yes, we are very strong and we've created quite a lot. I will I realize yeah, in the while that we're working that there's a lot of projects working in uh, waste disposal, environmental conservation. There's quite quite a lot. Uh, unfortunately, just a few. Yes. Uh, there was a short that has messed up quite a lot, and now they decided to sink it. You heard that part. They decided to sink it. They thought it would not have an impact, but it's killing a lot of baby dolphins. So, yeah. Yeah. I also did, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, you mentioned, yeah, working with people and working in prisons. Part of my project on a voluntary basis, I was uh, working with women in prison in, in Mauritius uh, and giving them skills for self employment and how to start small businesses. Still in the um, uh, field of environmental conservation and upcycling and we did a project on uh, yeah um, how they can produce economically viable products from waste and start their association and be able to sort of uh, transit from being in prison to joining the normal life and being independent and making yeah because it's not easy to find work or employment after you've had a record for there's a stigma and all of that. So uh, it's really hard. Yeah. You know, when you punish it's still it's the stigma is still there. <laughs> yeah, I realised I had it as well when I started. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, I mean, it comes without, without knowing, I realized, but when they, I was speaking with them, they offered me an opportunity to work as a woman in prison, and after watching all these American series and everything, you think, well, they're going to kidnap me now, and, you know, <laughs> but then working with them, it was a huge experience, and getting to know their personal stories, and then just realizing they're just people who had a different path in life, unfortunately, and they ended up there, but it's not any different from your own. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was, it was really good. It was an amazing experience. Okay. Uh, as we said, uh, we, we are young, but not only in terms of uh, legal registration, but also in terms of uh, people that are present in our association. So we are um, in close contact, contact with um, young migrants and foreigners here in Sicily, mm -hmm. and their presence, of course, is numerous due to the um, migration uh, flows uh, from uh, North Africa and even uh, uh, deeper south. But uh, so we are in close contact with the everyday problems and, and everyday problems of life of, um, of the members, even not of the association, because they, they gather around, the, around this association because we want to be the collector of their uh, voices and, and their problems, and therefore we also want to make the, our society aware of uh, the real problems that these, these categories are, uh, are living every day. So we want not only to find solutions, but also um, to make the society aware of these, uh, these problems, both through buying and uh, soon we would like to start a, a journal uh, project, and uh, also through public demonstrations, which is which was you know the starting point of the association. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was demonstration. Yeah. We, we, uh, the association is was born and a demonstration about for George Floyd was for Black Lives Matter. So we was done inside of another demonstration. So, mm -hmm. so when you see something is not right, you have to demonstrate that it's not right, saying it publicly. And how is he saying that we are not only mm, as migrants as have this on um, our own shoulders as experience, but we can involve too young people because all of us are young. And I'm saying that nobody here is not young here, but. generation in this time we have different views of this society yeah. we can understand them even if they are not migrants even if they are Italians mm -hmm. we can understand each other because in this globalized world and everything is digital now everybody is knowing everything so is the more uh, connected thing that we have a uh, comprehension with the the other part of the society of the youth, Italian youth are right, still in world and the migrants too, because they are mixed. When we are come here young, the discrimination is maybe in the system on the society, but between youth is less. Because we can communicate, we can create skills, local skills, you can um, joke with the guys and with 
the local wars. So you are not discriminated in this side, but by the society in the system way. So we are condemning these things and fighting against, uh, making empowerment of youth maybe for better future. That's, That's what we're thinking about. Yeah. That's a good goal. Thank you. Yeah. And can you um, maybe give like a concrete? Example of one of the projects that you've already done, or maybe yeah. are going done to do. already, not not yet, but uh, for now we are undergoing a project together yeah. with uh, um, the GCM, both the and uh, other associations in uh, other yeah. regions. We have a project with uh, 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 a concrete result. And, uh, but that was not that was not. I saw that there are two different levels. No one is there. That's really important because anyway we you know to be and maybe what we are organization association we need some funds to to implement mm -hmm. our idea to transform or any way to change you know, yeah. the, the, the society in terms of improving the weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And this is a level that there is the daily life. What they do, what the guys do every day with the members of the organizations, as you say, there are inside travels, boys and girls who are crossing the path of the Azamari, the Azamari, the Azamari, the Azamari, the Azamari, the
I was thinking about it uh, because we have quite a lot of contact with uh, Human Rights Watch. Okay. Uh, probably you know them. Uh, I have uh, met one yes. of the guys that works for Human uh, Rights Watch. Yeah, uh, uh, and we already we are in contact with, uh, she, her name is Eva Cosse. Uh, well, she works for Human Rights Watch and she did a lot of studies uh, about unaccompanied minors and advocacy also uh, mm -hmm. for them. Mainly in Greece, but I think also in Italy uh, she also works. So it might be interesting just to group her uh, and, and What's to read Eva, 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 Cosse, Cosse, you are C O S S A A.
how it would, what the challenges are. Basically, that's a phase we are at right now, analyzing uh, the issues that are present and how, what are the possible solutions for these situations. Yeah, is it easy to get in touch with them? There's plenty, there's yeah. plenty of them, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And do you get, and do you get in contact with them through the organizations that are housed by, or do you just know them through? Well, we work through informal channel because we have, let's say, the privilege to have contact, better contacts with them. Um, Basically, every day, more or less. So, and also, lots of the members of Stravox have have lived this. They have actually, yeah. uh, they literally. Uh, so, yeah, it's really nice. yeah, we have. Everybody, yes. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, we also pick up with the clients. It's easier to be in contact directly with the boys and girls than rather to contact with the yeah. 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 And trust me, yeah, yeah, I trust you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The situation about the reception is not just really mess. Um, it's really mess. So, yeah. And then, so, so if you have this needs assessment, you know what you have to do, 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 like I just try to get an idea of what, what you will do. What, what we are in phase of a, we are elaborating this very moment, like before we were discussing a possible proposal related to these three dimensions yeah. related to working and the housing especially. Uh, because of course these are the main uh, obstacles. I mean, uh, a shelter is uh, and then giving a sense of self-confidence and security that actually allows people to um, live more. Um, focusing on other problems, uh, not only uh, finding a shelter, which is a crucial um, problem. So uh, we were, for example, uh, related to the um, uh, housing problem, uh, the idea of uh, um, with, with the project, with the project. But in general, it would be uh, important when there is the transition from the uh, receiving institution to the um, adult age uh, to find the um, transition houses or um, places that can be. Rented and then uh, um, somehow given to to these uh, young young uh, migrants uh, in order to have either a transition or a safe place in order to get slowly autonomy and you know uh, getting more in contact with the, the social environment that they have around because also having a shelter having a job allows to create the, um, trust uh, uh, networks social networks which of course um, helps in the empowerment of the individuals and together creates uh, um, somehow a shield around uh, these, uh, these uh, people, these categories. Then in my case also, not only with, uh, with uh, migrants or foreigners, but especially with the uh, young locals, this, uh, and there is, uh, for example, another plane that is already uh, crossing these, uh, these problems is the language gap. So, uh, also teaching the language is really important in order to um, create uh, social networks and all of this. Is, yeah. As you see, is that either can be a vicious circle or a virtuous circle, yeah. mm -hmm. depends on that. And each element is like a mosaic, it's in the one. The elements are quite a lot of nice projects where uh, students and young refugees are housed together. And there are all these uh, social things organized around it, so uh, yeah, they have shelter, uh, but they also interact with each other, and they have language quicker. Is it also like this one? Is it also that? Yeah, we have to learn from the experience of the. Oh, you know, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Yeah, but they have some already some established experience in that. Sixty years. Sixty. Wow. Wow. Or sixteen. Sixty. 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 Sixty.
all the friends, I mean, boyfriends, migrants, waiting in the time to go, because the, especially the owner of the, 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 the apartment, the flats, are now in you know, a really high level uh, crisis. Mm -hmm. And they made a lot of troubles. They don't want to manage uh, to make a market. Yes, yes. So it is very bad business. I don't know exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. Well, as we have seen through this. It's a very bad business. It's a very bad business. There are some dissuasion practices you know, that were going to avoid migrants, especially from African origins, can, can achieve a better position on that. This individual is the problem. 
So society, I think that uh, from power, you know, is the, I can see it, I can analyze it like that. There is, yes, of course, racist poor, poor people, are, they are racist because they don't need and they don't need to understand. And there is another form of racism, the humorous part, because they receive these from media. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yes. Yes, of course. And this way, this gap of the impossibility to get a house, a job, and do all these things. And not all here in what we were saying of this space to find a space in which can be uh, housing uh, divided between Italians, non-Italians, Germans, friends, all people from all around the world can live and you can come and can be like the hostel, like the hostel, but not only for women, has to be in a sustainable place in which you have to create other things. You can create your uh, own food, you can create in, uh, in which you can create a conversation between people, organize conversation about the cultural uh, differences to make people, the youth one, the youth part, to, to offer them this possibility to, um, even if to arrive the, to complete the, the, the difference and last you have to move, put them together to find the, uh, the difference and put them together in something creative because in the creativity, uh, creativity in our minds in our ways to do things we are equal but we do, uh, don't see these things between our colors because some society decisions can divide us as the idea is to find a place is not uh, going just for housing, but to be uh, some of uh, a laboratory space of experimentation, social uh, keys uh, to break, break this uh, this uh, line of separation of uh, racism and these practices, bad practices, and to create good ones. That's what we are doing for all the fighting as we are fighting to for the eyes because they have to propose solution. For to propose a solution you need money. <laughs> this is the problem, yes. Yes, it's a, it's a ring of uh, things that you have to follow, yes. You were also speaking about social economic exclusion yeah. and uh, from society uh, like ideas. It is also several ideas in terms of our media propaganda and political propaganda. I think it's here so that it's we have some sectors of the Six or seven projects in Italy. Yeah. But 
this case, uh, there will be such like 1,000 projects. Uh, yeah. yeah, we will be so I have direct uh, relation with the foundation. Yeah, we Even because we are thinking about a big project. I mean, the total amount of project will be close to 900,000 euros. But we speak about uh, this is a project of four region We like the partner for four years. So it's a huge project. We are working on the, uh, I, I can say a small, very important, but a small part of our world project. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But it's
writing curriculum, writing dissertation methods, and all these kind of activities. Meeting networks. Meeting networks. Meeting networks. 